shot there from Tate. Girls love money, and that's not entirely true. Right, so last year watching us, we were in Austin, Texas. <laughs> oh, the shit just pulled us. <laughs> yeah, right in their head. Yeah, I've actually. Some beef and cheese. 30. Do you want any beef and cheese? America obviously sucks. And then we left Austin, Texas. And that's when Runfold had to go home for Christmas. Runfold is a big, giant, scary guy, but he's obviously a family man. He had to go home and do his Christmas. So me and Tristan said, look, we ain't got run fold, so let's not have too much fun because we're not going to be able to record any of it. So anyway, we woke up and accidentally bought a Mercedes S63 AMG. It happened. We were walking down the street, trip, oop, shit, car. And we didn't need it because obviously we already have five cars, but we bought another one. That's car number six. So we're cruising in our S63 and we're talking about how the Mercedes is the kind of car you can take to a business meeting. You can't really, I mean, you can take your Aston to a business meeting with a British businessman. If you're going to see Laura Sugar, you could take your Aston. But you couldn't take your Aston to go see Stefan Strauss in Frankfurt because the Germans would be unhappy. You could go in a nice Mercedes. So we're talking about how we finally have a car that allows us to see Stefan Strauss, which is obviously a fictional person. And as we're saying this, we're driving past the Porsche carriage and I said, could you take a nice Porsche to see Stefan Strauss? And he goes, yeah, I think you could. So we went in there, we bought Porsche. So within 24 hours, we bought two cars. So we're sitting in London, we have two cars, and we're trying not to have fun waiting for Runfold. So we decided to go out to the club. Because when you don't want to have fun in England, you go clubbing, because it's not fun. So we went out, and it was so awful. It was so bad, and we left the club at 2.30 a.m. We sat around, sobered up for an hour and a half, got in both our cars, and started driving towards our Romania, stopped in Paris, I woke Luke's ass at chess, obviously schooled him up some, stayed in Paris for a few days, and then we realized, oh shit, because we don't normally pay attention to these kind of things, it's almost Christmas, Christmas is a thing for everyone but us, so we're like, oh fuck, it's Christmas, what are we going to do for Christmas, and we decided to try and go to the most Christmassy place we could, which in our minds, we decided to be somewhere in Czech Republic, Prague, so we get into Germany, we're burning through Germany in our new Porsche, our new Mercedes, and a snowstorm hits. So we ended up getting stuck in Hamburg, Germany. We stayed in Hamburg for two days during the snow. We spent Christmas Day in a Hamburg hotel. Except, I don't know, I mean, was it Christmassy? A bit, but I wasn't really in the Christmas spirit. Get a Saikido. You don't know Aikido, bro. A couple people were rude to me, just like, they tried to tow my car because I parked in a disabled bay. 
Like, they don't know I'm not disabled. They don't know. Just because I ain't got a sticker, I'm going to fucking remove my car on Christmas over a sticker. Pussy ass. So I didn't really like that. So like, okay, fuck Germany. But we're stuck in the snow, so we're going really, really slowly. It was freezing cold. Freezing cold and like fog. You know that thick fog? You're going 25 miles an hour on the motorway. We have winter tires, but the snow on the motorway is fog. You're going 20 miles an hour. We're getting nowhere. Eventually, we got to Prague two days after Christmas. So we're in Prague now, and Prague feels Christmas. <laughs> Prague is Christmassy. So we're in Prague, it's pretty cool, it's Christmassy. We're speaking to the concierge guy, and we're like, what do we do New Year's Eve in Prague? He said, New Year's Eve in Prague is dry, everything's closed. So now we've got to move on again. We can't just chill. So we've been on the road, the road bend. On the road, barely sleeping, just driving, 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 driving. So from Prague, we ended up to, we have some friends in Slovakia, and we decided to go to Slovakia to try and have fun. Now also, I have a beef in Slovakia, and my beef is there's a casino there that took all my money about six years ago. Six years ago, I had about, I just fought and I had some money. I had about maybe 10,000 euro to my name. And back then to me, I mean now it's still a lot of money, 10 grand. That was, and when I say all my money, that was all my money. And I'm sitting in England and I'm like, you know what? I don't, well, I don't trust England anymore, fuck England. I'm gonna go, I wanna leave eventually. I'm gonna go to Slovakia and start a Slovak bank account. I put my money in there and hide my money abroad because I thought it was some kind of fucking cheat. So I went to Slovakia, I bought a bank account, put my money in there, everything's good. Then it's a Sunday night, I take some girl, the, lo the barmaid from the local club, I went out with her on a Sunday night, we went to on a date for dinner, da 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 da. She wouldn't bang, she goes home at 11.30. 11.30 Sunday night, what's it do? Nothing. What's open? The casino. Long story short, I lost all my money that night, bro. When I say all, I mean all, bro. Like, it was just, it was the worst luck. Like, it's just like, how could I have lost that badly? I was spinning, it was kind of going up and down, and then I lost a bunch. And everything, I remember it had been black, like, 11 times in a row or something. I was like, Shh. and I know that anyone who knows gambling knows that this is called the gambler's fallacy, that just because it's happened to black a bunch, it doesn't make it any more likely to be red the next spin. It's still 50-50. But when you've seen black 11 times, you're like, surely it's gonna be red. So I'd already lost like four grand by then. I thought, fuck it, I'll get enough three grand out, put three grand on red, black. I just got fucking wiped out. The worst thing about this story is there was a point, I'm sitting there with my friend Nero, who's a fucking serious gambling addict, but G. And he goes, it's gonna be 29 take. Fucking fuck this casino number 29. We put everything on fucking 29. This is my last money, yeah? We put it all on 29 and 29 hit. Bro, I went from, bro, I was 800 short of my 10 grand. I was down to a grand, 29 hit, I'm back at 9,200. And instead of just accepting the 800 loss, should have just going, you know what? I lost 800, I, it's, it's fine, I'm over it. No, I'm like, nah, I'll get the last bit back. Wiped out, bro. And when I lost that money, I had to borrow money for a flight home. I couldn't pay rent. I couldn't eat. That was all my money. It hurt me to my core. Now there's a lot of casinos I've been in, you go in and out, you don't really know. But with this casino, I know for a fact, I've been there once and I lost 10 grand. They owe me 10 grand. So for New Year's, I decided to go back to this town and get my fucking money back. <laughs> now on my Instagram story, the footage you're putting in here is stuff from my Instagram story. Long story short, I got seven grand of my money back. It was a pretty good fucking turnout. They got pissed off they saw me. Because when I walked in there, the manager remembered me. He goes, oh, a long time. And his stupid smile. I was like, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. Just I walked out seven grand. So now, now, now they only have three grand of my money. So I got my money back in Slovakia like a G. Jumped in the whips. Came back here to Bucharest, Romania. That's what we've been doing all this time. And none of it was filmed. None of it. It was a road trip adventure. Everything you can possibly think of that went wrong, went wrong. Madness. And it would have been the best two weeks of series to take confidential. And literally none of it was filmed. What were you doing? Just saluting, isn't it? <laughs> it's back home. <laughs>